we want to integrate using substitution or determine the antiderivative using substitution. So it may be helpful if we rewrite this as 7 times integral of 1 all over x natural log 2x dx. So we want to identify u so that u prime would also be part of the integral. So again, this is why it's helpful to know your derivative formulas. If we let u equal the natural log function, or natural log 2x, then differential u, then differential u would be u prime times dx, and u prime is going to require the chain rule. It's going to be 1 over 2x times the derivative of 2x, which would be 2 times dx. So differential u is equal to 1 over x dx. Now let's go back and take a look at our integral. If we let u equal natural log 2x, so this is u, then du is equal to 1 over x dx, which is good news because notice how we do have a 1 over x dx in our integral. So we can replace all of this in green with differential u. So we'd have 7 times integral of 1 over u from the blue part, and then from the green part we have du. And now we can apply the integral formula given here. So we'll have 7 times the antiderivative of 1 over u with respect to u is natural log absolute value u plus c, but u is natural log 2x. So we'll have 7 natural log natural log 2x plus c. This would be our antiderivative in terms of x by using the substitution method. So if we don't have a composite function where we have some quantity raised to a power, it is extremely helpful to have your derivative formulas memorized because many integration by substitution problems do require pattern recognition. I hope you found this helpful, and we'll take a look at another example in the next video.